Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo laptop here and this one is a Lenovo V330 this one's come with a Ryzen 5 CPU and in this video I'm gonna take you step by step on how you can upgrade the RAM for these models and what are the limits of the RAM capacity on this model as many of you guys keep telling me that inside the window task manager it shows like a one out of two slot uh, used that means there's one more slot inside and you guys want to use it in this video i'm going to show you guys that there is no second slot available in this uh, laptop there's only one dim ram available so it doesn't matter what windows 10 or uh, windows tells you is incorrect because windows will always uh, for default will tell you uh, x amount of the ram dim out of two it will never tell you one out of one ram dim so yeah uh, so before we open the laptop you need to power off the laptop completely flip it upside down and remove the external battery or for you might have a dummy case so pull the triggers slide it out this is a dummy case and you need to get yourself a screwdriver set. I use the iFixit tool set as they have an S2 class steels which are great for opening electronics and they don't, the bits don't go bad after a few years. All right, you're gonna be using Philips number zero from this set. Also, you will need a, an opening tool. If you get the pro version of this tool set, they include an opening tool and some pliers, some few tools. If you don't want to get the pro version, you can grab yourself a guitar pick. A metallic guitar pick is perfect to opening uh, laptops or any electronics. All right, that said, let's get into it. First thing first, we want to start removing all the screws that we see at the bottom cover, including the four the screws on the front end, three from the side to side in the middle, and three on the back row. So go ahead and remove all the screws. Remember the screws, they are all the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Also, I realized that only 1% of my viewers are subscribed to my channel. If you guys want to support my channel and you find my content useful, and as you guys can see, I always answer all the comments that you guys leave and take requests so it'd be a really nice thing if you guys could click like and subscribe i'll really appreciate it if the screw doesn't come out leave it they just do a few rotations but most of them will come out if it doesn't use a magnet to pull it out All right, once we remove all the screws at the bottom cover, what you want to do, you want to open up the lid a little bit and you want to stick the guitar pick between the, there's a tiny, tiny line between the top and the bottom cover right there. So you want to stick the guitar pick in between right there. And you just want to twist it. And you're going to hear some clicking. And what you want to hear, you want to do this all along. Do the on the front row and do the sides, the same thing. Go all the way to the back end. Do the right side. All right. Now you can close up the laptop. Put your finger right over here on the this part right here and then you start wiggling around and it should release itself the bottom cover so there we have the bottom cover all right now, now we can see the whole components down here and uh, the ram is right under this shield right here to remove the ram you do not need to disconnect the battery but if you want to be paranoid just pull these cables back and the jack would get released from the connector but is absolutely not necessary to remove the RAM and to remove the battery to upgrade the RAM. 
The ram beam is under this shield to lift up the shield just gently. Lift, hold it from the corners, pull it up, bring it straight upward, and that's it. There's these clips there, they're just pretty much holding to the sides of this shield. All right, and the RAM, this one is a DDR4 RAM, 4 gig. If you want to upgrade it, in order to remove the RAM, you have to pull these two triggers apart. So, and the RAM will come out in 45 degree angle. And in the same 45 degree angle, you just want it to uh, pull it out in the same direction. Let's say you get a new 16 gig, you can put up to 16 gig of uh, them in here. So you grab the new 16 gig, bring it down, make sure the notch on the RAM matches the notch right on the dim. So bring it in 45 degree angle, push it all the way towards the dim and then push it towards the motherboard and you should hear those two clicks all right once you got that click right there that means the ram is in place grab the shielding you see these clips right here all around the ram so pretty much you want to align it over the clips and then you want to bring it down and make sure it sits right inside those hangers there we go. Once you got that in there, and now we gotta work backward, grab the bottom. Also plug in the batch if you disconnect it, and grab the top bottom cover, bring it over, and then push down the corner, make sure you hit those clicks. That's what you wanna hear. And next thing, is to grab the bottom screws and place them all on the bottom cover. I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out to upgrade your RAM for your Lenovo V330. And if you have any requests or questions, leave them in the comment area and I always try to answer them as soon as I can. And again, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys in my next video. I'm just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screws. That should cover the video.